James, how does it feel to be here? I suppose the last uh, week or so has been a, a bit hectic, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a long time coming, to be fair. And, um, I'm delighted to be here. And, um, all the boys that I've met so far have, have made me feel really welcome. What was deadline day like? Did you ever think that this move wasn't going to happen? Yeah, it was very hectic. Um, obviously, at times it goes through your head that it might not happen, and um, especially as the time went on, it's, it got to, I think, half ten at nine, I was thinking to myself, is it going to happen, is it not? And thankfully it did, and I am just delighted to be at such a great club at Everton. We were outside Finch Farm. I think you arrived about five to eleven. <laughs> so how much of a rush was it to get that paperwork done? Yeah, it was. Um, I think it was just about signing the first bit of paper, and then obviously they, they could, we could get um, more time to talk through things. And um, obviously, I'm just, I was just delighted to, to make it on time. To be fair, and um, as I say, I'm, I'm delighted to be here. We are getting reassurances through the day that obviously Everton wanted this move to happen. We did you feel reassured that they were going to be able to push it through, or? Or, or what? I mean, was there that fear that it wasn't going to happen? At times I thought um, it was going to happen, and then a lot of times I thought it's not going to happen, to be honest. And um, as I say, it's, it was one of the, it was just a long, long day, to be honest. Um, it was just constantly waiting by the phone with my agent and um, waiting for the phone call to come and say to, to drive. Um, and obviously it came so late, and um, I was just, as, I'm just delighted to be here. When you've moved from a club for, for that amount of money, does that bring pressure with it? Obviously, it's, just, it's, it's a price tag and uh, one that I need to deal with. And, uh, one that I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to in um, trying to prove that I'm, I'm here to try and play um, in, in the team. And obviously, it's not going to be easy. We've got a, a lot of uh, places for competition. and um, I'll give it my best shot and uh, hopefully I can do well. When you say deal with it, is it something that plays on the mind? No, no, it's, it's just one of the things. It's, it's you see so many other players going for big big money and um, it's, it's just one of the things you need to deal with. And, um, you need to be mentally strong, obviously, and, uh, and it's, 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 it's just a, I'm, it's one of the things I'm, I'm going to need to deal with and get on with it. And does it make it easier, given that you've worked with Roberto Martinez before? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously good that I'm here and um, obviously I know the gaffer and um, obviously Bonner and um, the, his, his backroom staff, sorry, um, and it's just, it's, it's just good to be here and and even the boys made me feel really welcome today. Of course, you already knew Kone and, and Joel as well. Yeah, well, I knew a few of the boys and obviously, like say, Seamus, uh, Gibbo, uh, Duffy, um, there's a few, um, obviously playing against them, I know them, um, and it's just, it's just brilliant to be here. What is it about the manager, though, as well, that makes him good to work for? Because that seems to be the response we get from, from most of the players. Um, it's, it's, he's, he's a very good manager. Um, I think you can see that he likes to play football, and um, it's, it's, it's always pleasing in the eye for uh, people watching in. And um, it's, it's, it's just it's great to be here with him, and um, hopefully I can I can stand my for it in the team, and hopefully try and get as many. Um, starts under my belt as possible, but it's not going to be easy. Obviously, as I say, is I've got real competition at the club and um, a lot of big names here. And if, if I need to bide my time, I'll need to bide my time. But hopefully, I can uh, go in and try and uh, take my chance when I get it. How big a step is this in terms of your career as well, moving to a club like Everton? Yes, it's a massive club. Um, you look at the history, and um, it's just it's, it's a great place to be. And, since since I heard that they, they were interested, it's, it's, it's one that I've always wanted to come in. Um, I'm just delighted to be here. Given all the all that's gone on over the past week, are you ready to make a debut at the weekend as well, given you've been away on international duty and you've hardly had a chance, I suppose, to settle in at the training ground? Yeah, well, it's just I've been away in an international and um, I'm happy to be back. And, um, hopefully um, I can play some part of the game, um, I, I just need to wait and see really, it's just, we've got a big squad and obviously um, it's, I need to work hard on and off the pitch and we'll just need to wait and see what the weekend brings. Can I just ask you what you make now that Trapattoni has left his post as Republic of Ireland manager? Yeah well obviously we've got it to be honest, he was, he was a good manager and um, I enjoyed working under him and um, it's, it's, it's 
it's a blow uh, t- to all the players, and um, I'm sure it won't be out of the game for long. Was there a feeling that now was the right time to change, and did you know anything yesterday, or is it something that's kind of <coughs> happened? In the, in no, it's just happened. Uh, to be honest, I didn't didn't expect it to happen, and um, it's just it's, you just look at his record. To be honest, um, you look how well he's done for Ireland. Um, he's he's got his to the Euros. Um, he fell short just of France in the qualifier. Um, obviously, we, in, uh, we were in good contention to qualify for the World Cup, and unfortunately, we we slipped up on Friday night, and then obviously last night we conceded a uh, late late goal. And, um, it's, it's 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 one that we need to we I'm sure the FAI will, will deal with it and um, they'll bring in someone. James, was the attraction to come and play it at the club like Everton, or was the attraction to come and work with Roberto Martinez again? Obviously, you know the gaffer and you want to work under him. And uh, as I, as I say, I know him well and um, the style we play is enjoy I enjoy it. And obviously, coming to such a club like Everton, it, and sh- as soon as a club at Everton show interest. You you want to go there and you want to go and uh, try and play as many games as you can. Will it be easier to adapt here because Roberto has started to make his style of football felt at the club? It's gonna it's gonna be hard to obviously I need to try and work hard and on and off the pitch and um, when I get my chance hopefully I can go in and take it but it's not gonna be easy obviously just to I'm not here to just go and play games. I'm I'm here to work hard and obviously I need I need to, I need to work hard to to go and play games. So um, it's, it's it's not going to be easy, and I'm looking forward to it. You mentioned the competition for places. There are some very talented midfielders here. How much of an opportunity does that give you at this stage to learn from them as well? It's just it's just we've brought in a few. Um, obviously we've got uh, Ross Barkley. Uh, we've got Gibbo. We've got Gareth Barry. Like uh, we've got Leon Osman, and uh, we've got real competition in the squad. And um, it's not going to be easy to get in. And, as I say, I need to work hard, and um, if my chance comes, it'll come. What do you think the club <coughs> can achieve this season? I think we're going to push up as high as we can, and um, we'll have a real go. And as as everyone knows, I think it's is 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 we're a, we're, a, we're a good club, and uh, we're going to I'm going to try and push. We're going to try and push on as a club, and uh, hopefully at least top six, maybe.